function takes the group's concept to a whole new level. Grouping is essentially a cluster of groups that we can granularize activities and or resources for in a course. First ensure that your administrator has enabled the groupings function in the global settings. And as a teacher, come into a course, go to the settings block, course administration, users, groups. Select the groupings tab. It's essential at this stage that the groups have already been created. So we can now create a grouping. Let's give grouping a name. Save changes. So we now select the groups that we wish to add to a given grouping. Back to groupings. So we're adding group one and three to grouping A, and we will add group two to grouping B. Turn to the course page. Turn editing on. So by way of example where this plays out for a resource and one we've got there already, so a file. Let's go to edit and update. So this is a file at this stage we're sharing with all members of the course. Show advanced under common module settings. We may wish to make it available to a grouping in particular. We'll say grouping A. So that essentially means that any member of grouping A, so essentially members of group A and group C, will be able to access that particular resource. That won't be the case for members of grouping B. Okay, so that's how a very simple example of how we use the groupings function to granularize resources or activities.